my name is Vagrant and this is my Vice Contagion guide where I'll be teaching you guys how to add already implemented sounds into your very own Contagion modded map and then I'll be showing you how to add your very own custom sounds into your modded map. So let's get started. So this is a map that I made for this tutorial. We're going to pop it open. So once we're inside, we just need to make sure that our developer console is activated. It should be already activated, but if it's not, press escape, go to options, uh, keyboard and mouse, allow developer console, and make sure it's enabled. Once that's done, we're good to go. Uh, make sure you switch to your phone because we'll be pressing left click quite a lot. We don't want to be shooting like that all the way through this. So there we go. So let's activate our sound by pressing back tick. I'll put an image on the uh, video so you guys know what key I was talking about. And type in AS, A system enable, one. And ambient sound editor has launched and we're good to go. Now, to place an ambient sound, we want to press shift, left click, and it'll drop our sounds. Now, uh, there's a few things going on, but we'll get to that. Let's just add our sound first by going to console, type in AS, underscore, set sound event now an event is pulled out of contagion's sound banks and played so i'll get into that later on for now we're just going to try and find a sound that's already made for us now there is a lot of sounds that we can add to this uh there actually is a list on steam if you go to steam and go to the uh, guide section there is a guide called contagion vice sound system game by tatsuru i'll leave a link in the description so you guys can uh, click on that and we're going to scroll down and click on ambient sound and zones. Now, as you can see, there's loads of sounds here. <clears throat> and they pretty much do what they, what they say. They, for instance, flies sound like flies, car sounds sound like car sounds, and etc. Uh, I'm going to add a sound that I already know, which is, which is a pinball music machine. Which is downtown, which is AS downtown pinball machine music. Press enter to set it, and we have to walk out for it to uh, work and walk back in again. And it's playing our sound. Right, let's talk about what's going on here. So this sphere here is pretty much the activator. If you walk out, the sphere is going to stop the sound. If you walk back in again, the sound will be activated. This long green directional arrow here is pretty much the sound direction. If you stand anywhere else, we can change the direction by typing in AS, set, direct, set sound direction, sorry. And what it'll do is it'll calculate where your character is and set that as the direction, which is pretty nice. So there we go, set the direction over there. Now you might be trying to do something specific with the sound and this sphere is too big. And what you can do then is you can set distance of the sphere by typing in AS, set max this and then press enter and just like the arrow it will calculate where your character is and set that as the uh, the point and here we are that's the point so when we walk in now it's a lot shorter okay. now that we have it all set up we're going to give it a name so as set name i'm going to call this pinball now, the reason we're giving it a name is you might want to control it later on in Hammer. Like, for instance, you can enable it to be turned off when the map starts. And the only way to turn it on is to press this button here, which I'll demonstrate later. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate why we named our sound. Uh, we're going to fire up uh, our map. And we're going to go to where we place our sound. So we're going to put down a sound entity. And we're going to name it the same name as the name we named our sound, uh, our beat sound. So that was Pinball. Now, this beat sound name is called Pinball. What we're going to do is, we're going to trigger 
this button on pressed pinball enables. So what will happen now, if we set a map to play, so our sound is not going to play unless we press this button. And that's how you uh, set up sounds for triggers. Okay, let's talk about ambient zones. Ambient zones are more like a trigger. If you trigger them, they'll play the background sound in the background, no matter where you're on the map. While ambient sounds are only triggered if you walk into their zone like this but if you walk out it's it's not going to keep playing so let's let's set up some triggers uh, ambient zone sorry so to do this <coughs> hold down alt and hold down left click and drag to make an ambient zone Whoop. now i'm going to make two i'm going to make one inside and i'm going to make one outside Now to select the zones, it's right click to deselect and left click to select. No wait, it's left click to deselect, sorry, and right click to select. So one of the cool things about ambient zones is reverb. You can add these to make it sound really, really nice. Like you could be inside and it make it sound like you're inside and so forth. So let's let's set some reverb. AS set location. Now there's three locations that I know of, which is the field, street. And indoors so we're going to set this one to indoor and we're going to set the one outside to field now when I walk in <coughs> gonna use my pistol for this you hear that the sound doesn't travel and we're outside. You can hear the bullet sound traveling to the distance. It's pretty cool. So next we're going to add the background sound to our zones. Now when we're adding a new event, we want to make sure we add the right sound. So there's two different types of sounds. ES is ambient sound and e AZ sorry, is a ambient zone. We want one of these. Uh, so I already have two ready. I'm going to add them now. Which is easy suburbs outside garden and for the inside easy suburbs house living room so when I press enter these should be set so when I walk through them it sounds like we're in our living room for a suburb house and when we walk outside, yeah, we're outside in the garden. So that's ambient zones. They're great. I think they can add a, a really good atmosphere if you know how to use them right. So once everything's set down and you have everything you want, all your zones, all your sounds, you're going to want to save it. If you leave the map now, everything you've done is going to be wiped. So you make sure you type in AS, A system save. And what it'll do is it'll save a file into your Contagion folder and I'm going to show you what that is in a moment. So we're going to whip up our folder and go into Contagion Contagion and go into our scripts sound system and here we are here's our sound vice text file that we need. Now this is this, this is all your sounds that you've put down saved with this uh, everything should work on your map but you're going to have to put it into your Contagion add-on folder as well so go into your uh, I've got um, folder here already for it. Make sure it has scripts, sound system folder and make sure you paste it in there so it works when you uh, pack up your map and you know upload it to Workshop. Now there's something else that you have to add to make this work properly and that's the sound bank text. I will leave a download link in the description to download this file. Uh, you just place it in here with your sound system and double click. The map needs to know where to get the sounds from uh, so it's looking for the banks but doesn't know where to get those banks so you're gonna have to add them in here so we go down to mod mod is basically your map uh, so we need to link the other sounds from contagion into your map we used two different types of sound banks we used the downtown 
and we also use the subverb spank. So let's look for those two. Here they are. Save it, it will load the map and the sounds for you. And that's it for adding contagion sounds to your map. Okay, now guys, we're going to try and implement our own custom sounds now. Uh, just a heads up, guys, I'm not an expert on Vice, uh, but I'll do my best to get you through and add your custom sounds. So you're going to need three things. You're going to need a specific version of Vice, uh, build 5248. I'm going to be using the 32-bit. Uh, you're going to need this folder, uh, Vice CH Tutorial Map. You can get it from uh, Tatsuru's Contagion Vice Sound System Guide. If you scroll down, there it is. Just click that and download. You're also going to need um, <clears throat> Audacity. Audacity is a free recording software and it's pretty awesome. So uh, once you have all these, we'll just fire up Vice. Once you've loaded it up, uh, look for your uh, Vice CH tutorial map and you're looking for this file here, Vice CH tutorial map. We've opened up Vice. Once you open up the file, we'll have this. We have mode ambient sounds and mod ambient zones. We're going to make our own sound. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Audacity. And record. Bubble gum, sound. bubble gum. Bubble gum, bubble gum. Okay, that's fine. Now, before we export, make sure that your project rate is at 44100. If not, uh, it'll play weirdly in Vice. So export, export audio, make sure it's a wave, 32 bit float, and we'll call it bubble gum. Uh, let's take this one. Close Audacity. So here's our sound. Open base back up again, and uh, we're going to make a container. So click, left click, uh, mod ambient sounds, right click, new child, and we're going to make a sequence container. A container is what it is. It's a container. It's going to hold our sound. Let's call it. Uh, that's a container. Now there's two ways to import your sound. You can right click and import audio file or you can drag and drop your sound into your container. So let's import our sound. It's ready. Once it's in, open up your container. Bubble gum, left bubble click gum. Your sound and click the play button down here to make sure that it's working. Okay, great. So while we're in here, I'll explain a little bit. I'm not going to explain a lot about it, but you can add, well, you can do a lot of things in Vice, such as add your own effects. If I click on effects here, override uh, parent. You can click this button here and add some special effects like reverb, and uh, EQ, that sort of thing. But we're not going to do that. You can also loop your sound over and over again by just clicking loop. Um, you can make bubble it loop gum, twice, or you can make it loop forever pretty uh, simple. We're not going to do that, we're just going to leave it to play um, once. Once that's done, we're going to go to events, default work unit, we're going to make a new event. Now, event is what is called when you're in game. So the game calls for this event, so we're going to uh, make the event play. So it's going to be a play event. We need to name it the same name, bubblegum. The same name as the name in the game, the ambient zone, which I'll show you when we're getting game. So just make sure that the same it's the same name. So when you type this into ambient sound to play, this is what's going to play. Okay. Uh, now we have to browse, go into our container and find our sound. There it is, bubblegum container. Bubblegum, bubblegum. Add our bubblegum sound. Press play, make sure it's working. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to put it into our sound bank. Uh, we don't need this, so I'm going to delete this and make a new sound bank. Now, I'm going to name it the same as my map. 
Um, I don't know if you if you named it something else, it would work. But it, I just keep naming it as my. I just keep it named the same name as the map, so it's not confusing. Okay, so I want you to press F7 or go to layouts and click sound bank. Okay. Okay, now we're going to create a sound bank. Uh, we're going to open this up, click our vice map, that's our sound bank, and we're going to look for our sound. Bubble gum, we're going to drag, oh, click uh, our map, vice sound bank first, and drag and drop our sound in there, and that's it. Now, before we click generate, we need to make sure that Windows platform is selected and English US is selected, or it won't work. So, click generate. There we go. If any problems occur, it will tell you. You can just double click on it and it tells you what you did wrong. Um, the next, if you're going to add more sounds onto it, you don't have to keep clicking generate, just click update. So that's it. Our sound bank should be in our vice folder. We're going to go vice, ch tutorial your map, and we're looking for generated sound banks. Windows, and there's our bank. <coughs> Okay, I'm going to copy this into our Contagion folder. So we are in Contagion. Yep, we're in Contagion. So we're looking for sounds folder, and I'm going to cut. I'm going to paste it in here. It's already in here, but yeah, I'm going to paste it in here so it will play and hammer so we can hear it. But you're also going to going to add this into your add-on folder. For your map, which is vice map, sound, paste sound. Now, now that we've added our new bank, just like before, we're going to have to add it to our sound bank TXT file. So select that. Look for your mod. I'm going to put it underneath mod. Okay. save and that's it so when we run our map oh I'd like to just add one more thing if it doesn't work you need to make sure a few things are there before you do this if you do not have your add-on information it won't work you need to make sure this is here uh, this was a problem that I found out later on just make sure you have your add-on information and uh, that's it okay so let's uh, give it a try Normal map. Okay, let's add our sound. Yes. Oh. A system enable. Click. Let's change the phone. Set event. And we called our event play bubblegum. In caps. Bubblegum, bubblegum. Let's see if it works. Bubblegum, bubblegum. There we go. And that's how you get your that's how you get your custom sounds into Contagion. Uh, you can do the same for uh, your uh, ambient zones. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. If you have anything uh, you want to ask me, feel free. I'll I'll get back to you and do my best to help you guys out. I hope this was helpful and good day.